and the masters of the universe. Check it out, guys. We have the Masters of the Universe Castle Grey Skull by Mega Constructs. Uh, it's from Mattel. So this is their new latest Pro Builder set. Um, this set has 3,508 pieces. Uh, it's probably the biggest set that I've ever completed uh, from Mega Constructs. I'm not sure if this is the biggest that they've created. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. Also, if you're uh, you know, keeping in touch, uh, staying up to date with San, San Diego Comic Con, there is a Mega Constructs Master of the Universe Battle Bones exclusive. So if you are picking that up, you can pre-order it right now. Um, so hopefully you're one of the lucky ones. I'm debating if I should get it. Uh, let me know if I should get it down below. Yes, get the Battle Bones. No, don't worry about it. Or if you're going to S, uh, SDCC, let me know. Uh, so this is a brand new set here. Uh, they're hopefully going to be expanding this uh, from what I see. This is the third uh, or the second set. They've already came out the Wind Raider attack, which we have. Also, and the Battle Bones is next, and they've come out with the individual uh, micro action figures, or as I call them, mega figures. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the box, and then we'll go ahead and show you the actual insides and all the contents. So on the cool side of this one, we have a picture of Skeletor with his ram head uh, staff here. Pretty cool artwork on, this, on the side of the box. Uh, I'll switch over to this other side, then you have Prince Adam, aka He-Man, right here with this, uh, his power sword here. Um, on the back, you see a great graphic uh, or illustration of the inside of the castle. So this is from the back view of it. Shows the different chambers, the ladders, uh, cannon on top, and uh, in addition, there's illustrations of the different mini figures or mega figures you get here. So you get six mega figures. So He-Man, the Goddess, Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Skeletor, and also a Beast-Man. We already have most of these already, and they're just different variants that they have released. So I'll see if I can compare some of the different um, figures from these, from the ones that came in this set here, so you'll be able to see that. So let's take another look at, let's see anything on the bottom? No, nothing on the bottom. Uh, another shot on the top here, and then we can open this up. We'll see, okay, more artwork on, on the inside. So this one opens up like this, so you can see a scene of Skeletor sitting on the throne with the guy that's kind of peeping around and so kind of way, okay, she's in jail. We'll figure that out. More designs here and let's see. Continue this unboxing with the sides. Okay, so we have more artwork on the side. Looks like Key Man, Man of Arms, and a goddess or trying to do some maybe escaping or Maybe they're freer. I don't know. Maybe we'll tell a story with our once we finish building. And you have the sorcerers with their little blue orb or glow. Alright, so let's open the top. And a giant battle scene there. So this is a pretty cool illustration. I do a lot of artwork, so if you haven't checked out some of that connect this artwork, check that out. Um, and if you like everything we see so far, make sure you hit the like button. So this is a pretty cool picture here that you can see. I mean, you can maybe set that up as a backdrop or hang it on your wall. Maybe there's a poster. So I'll lay this down here. And each uh, these this set comes into four separate boxes. Each box has so this is box four has two characters on it. This is box three here. So I'll get out. Take this one out next. I'll just take this one out. So you have box two here. That's Skeletor on it. Right. You have box this is box one with a little sketch of He-Man. Then the final box, oh well, not final, but it's third. It's out of order. That's okay. This is box three. So I went out of order. So the last two uh, characters are on here, and all their pieces are going to be in here. They're bag, I believe, up to 50 plus bags in this set so they are numbered bags which is great uh, you may have to open up a couple of extra ones uh, just to get ahead and progress through and then this behemoth of a booklet here look at this giant this is definitely by far the biggest book we've had in any brand of construction figures toys that we've had uh, is massive um, I mean, 
completely illustrated. There's color sections based on which tower you're working on. So there's one, two, three, four, five main areas of this build and they're all divided by colors if you look by the side of them. Uh, there's a total of 176, 77, 78 pages, 177 eight pages um, with a total of, well, let's, let's see, 481 steps. So set aside a lot of time to complete this. If you have help, get help. Make sure you take breaks. Stay hydrated because you're going to be in for a long haul when you uh, tackle this big giant set. So now that we've gone through some of the inside, let's quickly and go through the mega figures first. All right. Let's try. Okay, guys. Now we're going to take a quick look at the different mega mini figures, mini action figures that came along with the Castle Grey Skull set. Uh, I have these posed and set up in front of the figures that we have from previous purchases. So we'll quickly go through them. So you see there's a beast man with a reddish tent. You have Skeletor here with his, I'm oh sorry, beast man with a reddish tent and his whip, you can kind of see in his hand. Also you have Skeletor with his ram head staff. We move over to He-Man with his battle axe, sword, and shield. By the power Man at Arms, the Goddess, and the Sorcerer. So each one of these are all fully articulated. So I mean, you can turn their heads, uh, bend their knees, bend their elbows, turn their wrists, shoulders, waist. Uh, even some of their head pieces are removable as well. Uh, so those are great for interchanging any of the pieces and customizing them. Uh, with the exception of Skeletor here, and I believe the sorcerer, these cannot be um, removed from their heads. I haven't tried the sorceress yet, but I'm pretty sure that one can't be removed as well. So I'm gonna quickly take a look at some of these pieces that are uh, duplicates and maybe some different variants. So I'm gonna start off with good old Beast Man right here. So if you take a look at Beast Man, this one is came in a reddish tint, whereas the previous version that I received had a orange tint to it. So, see if I can kind of get that to focus on those so you can get a closer look at it. There we go. Now, as far as the accessories, the same whip, same armor that it came with, it's just that the the, the skin tone is, comes, is just a little bit redder. You know, red, more red than orange. So, that's the difference between this action figure here. Now let's move over to Skeletor. So, this is the Skeletor I received with, I believe this one came with the uh, Wind Raider, which is right back here, the Wind Raider. So that was my He-Man and Skeletor Wind Raider set. Uh, and this is one I believe that we got separately, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, when you look at the difference between these two, uh, fairly the similar color scheme is just the feet are, one is painted uh, with shoes, one is not so that's the biggest difference in that one whereas if you look at this one that we just received for castle gray skull the the purple is completely darker completely darker hue and if you can look closely see if i can get a i'm not sure if i can get a good shot of it on here but there's a wash on the skin as well so the skin tone has a slight wash to it that you may be able to pick up um see if i can pick it up on here, I might not be able to catch it. But it's a very um, very light blue or dark blue uh, wash that, 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 that shows up on like the muscle in the, the different definition of it that's lacking on those. All right, so we'll move over to the Prince Adam figure from the Wind Raider and the one that came with the Castle Grayskull, which uh, you see the darker shade of, of boots you have the golden or yellowy fur around the uh, boot, ankles. Even his belt is a little bit uh, more gold than it is orange. As far as the chest plate, everything else looks pretty much the same. Just the colors just a little bit more, the hues on him are a little bit more darker. And if you look at his mouth, he has a, he's a little bit more angry here. So you can see his mouth is closed on this one, but then open on this one. Closed, open. So. That's the biggest difference between those. See if I can go back to that wash and see if I can get a good shot of it. 
Uh, yeah, you see a little bit on his thighs, on his legs, whereas on these, there is none. All right, so moving on to man at arms. So the main thing, of course, this is, this is probably the one that has the biggest difference. Of course, the mustache. So I must ask you why are these so different? So the mustache on this one, this is a younger one. The blue armor versus silver armor. And even the green is a different hue. The black instead of brown. So there's a lot of changes in the man at arms as far as the figures. Um, color scheme so that's the biggest one there so when you get these you are getting the same figure but they are different variants so I know on the battle bones I have to go back and look and see what differences will come with the battle bones set now this one is Tila but some people in some uh, versions it's also the goddess so of course this one comes with the Cobra King Cobra staff and this one comes with the sharp uh, throwing spear and the King Cobra headdress they both come with the shield uh, but a completely pale skin, green skin. So, I mean, completely different color schemes for this entire figure. Uh, but with the addition of the headdress and staff, spear, instead of the uh, just a King Cobra staff. Uh, and finally, we have the Sorcerer. She has her uh, wing spread along matching her staff here in all white. On the back here, she has a rubber... Uh, Feather cape, uh, looks like there's a gloss blue section and a little in the yellow, the orange section is matted, but it's a rubber, it just stretched right up and connected to both um, wrists. And again, I don't now this headdress, yeah, that's the head piece is stuck on, so the, only the head will be removed from there. So this is the sorcerer here, which was only available in this set, if I'm not mistaken. So there you have it, you have the Masters of the Universe minifigures here. The six up front that came with the set and the ones we've had in the past. So now we'll move on to Castle Grayskull itself. Here is our Castle Grayskull uh, from the Mega Construct set. Not sure if the 3500 pieces was all the pieces that were in here and was included with uh, the extra pieces, uh, but there were a good bit of extra pieces that I received. So I guess with over 3500, you would expect to have a couple extra, or you would expect to lose a couple. Um, did have a couple missing pieces, so but I was able to get those replaced with some other sets that I have for Mega Construct. I can keep it completely Mega uh, as best as possible instead of having to wait for customer service to send them replacements, which they do a great job at. So here it is, all put together, one big giant set. I'll do a quick 360 because it's a little too big to fit on my turntable, and give you a shot of the back side of it as well. So you see here, it has a back door entry here, windows, can, um, rooftop area here. This was all done by me and Caleb. So shout out to Caleb Connected for helping dad put this together. Uh, your fingers get a little worn down after you're going through all this, this many set pieces here. Now one of the cool things about this set is that it does open. So there is a hinge oh, on the other side here. I'll show you that. So right here, you see that it can actually snap on here and actually stay closed. So if you need to move it around or when you're, if you're playing with it or if you just wanna have it on display. So it does open up from the side here and that gives you access to the inside of it here. And I'll quickly go through uh, some of the cool features that come along inside of this set here. I'm gonna go handheld on this part here so I can show everyone all the different features from the inside. Uh, some of the things that Mega does that they probably don't have to do, but they do it just to kind of make sure that the detail is included with, with these sets. For instance, the top of here part is the elevator. And at the top of it, you would have saw that those are two skulls sitting on top right there. Now, did they have to do that? No, just adding a nice touch to it. Uh, so this is an elevator that you can use to go through the different types of stair, uh, the different stories that are included in the castle. So just by sliding it up, it's not motorized or anything, but I'm pretty sure that someone can create a motor for this and it goes all the way up to the top. It can, get, it can pop off and it'll be up here in the armory. They can go across up the steps to the flagpole. They can look down across the balcony. Uh, I guess they could jump down, but I wouldn't recommend that. So they come up down here, access the elevator down to the second floor. I'm hitting something here. 
little notch there, okay. And then they can access this little control room here. We see the screen, but in addition, there's a handle here, so it's a hideout as well. So you can actually hide into that little cubby area if you're invaded by the evil forces. Uh, right over here, you have this little screen here, which is looks like a futuristic armor on a He-Man's, uh, I'm guessing, galactic space suits. I would have to go do some research to figure out the name of that one. We're gonna go back down. To the first floor here to go to the bottom level where the elevator can drop you off at just bring that down here and i'm hitting that little notch again and then you have an armory with more weapons here and if you can remove that if you want to put that somewhere else that basically comes on the stand so you have a number of weapons here that you can use or uh, you can swap out with your your figures create battles add other figures to this uh, in addition here you have a little breakout wall so you can actually come to the other side knock that out and it comes right out so it's kind of like they're breaking through the back door so that's one little cool feature there they have uh, in addition it does come with a ladder on the other side so you can actually use the ladder to get up to the top level or if you want to use that on the outside to show that someone's trying to break into the castle via ladder um, here is what I believe is a training area it's like some type of weapon that is used um, to practice battling the forces of evil. So it kind of has like a little kind of just batarang type of spinning action weapon in that little room there. Of course you have your front door to the castle. I'll show you how, how that door opens. It's pretty cool. Uh, so if you did take the ladder and you go up here, you're back to that little room here. The computer room where you have the screen. Uh, the screen of the... or the this diagram and display of the suit then you have the throne room here and adjacent to the throne, throne room just another empty room here now the cool thing about your throne room um, is I'll show you guys just a quick little thing so right adjacent to the throne room if someone comes to break into this area here I'll put a little chick in there just to kind of show what happens so if you slide over the throne just like this trap door and that actually brings them down into the dungeon of course another skull right there just to add a little detail and then you can open this door and you'll see that the skull is back down there in a little dungeon don't know what the purple thing is but looks creepy so that's that all right so we're going to go back up to the top floor of this section here and you see the little eagle here you have a Eagle on top and a cannon, like a double barrel laser shooting cannon here that swings around. And then you have another area where the sorcerers uh, orbs or globes are located at and gems. So that's kind of in the hitting area right there. And then if you ever get attacked and you're they're entering the throne room, you can always come out this way here. So there's another little side door that kind of leads outside area so let's take a look on that we're back and we're back on the outside of the castle gray skull again if you ever want to use the ladder to put them out put here they can escape from that side door and just exit right out here and to the front the cool skull entry here that everyone's familiar with now uh, some of the other mega collectors have already uh, change the fangs on this piece to where they're going more up, more horizontal so I may m do a quick mock and change it to where they're going more straight down then off to the side and hopefully it doesn't block the door but you have your, your cross swords here and the shield I'll show you something that Caleb actually showed me that if you take the power skull here and you just insert it into this little door here the door opens up that's pretty cool that's a pretty cool feature then you have your teeth here you can put he-man in there and just uh, swallow them whole and the door stays closed and you actually use this to unlock it just using the power sword it, the power sword it gives you access into the castle that's awesome that's i mean that's a <laughs> that's a pretty cool um pretty cool feature they have there so just some more windows uh, now you can actually separate all these individually if you wanted to actually have them separate uh, or uh, I'm pretty sure with a little modification 
you can go through and change all of these and put them in different areas um, or even just have them side by side but this is the mega construct castle gray skull set we hope you guys liked it and don't forget if you guys uh, like the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button we have more videos coming for you guys soon and like us and share it also visit our uh, Instagram page Caleb connected and dad connected we have a lot of cool stuff that we put on our Instagram page that we may not have time to put on our social media page and we can do more daily uploads there but if you like these videos and you want to see some more mega constructs let us know this is the dad connected aka the mega dad signing out for Caleb connected and we'll see you guys on the next video peace out